Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. If this video hits a thousand likes, I will film a video shirtless. Why am I doing that? Can I even do that on YouTube? I can? Okay. Well, yes, I will film a video shirtless for you guys. <laughs> I feel like people are going to dislike the video now. <laughs> Okay, anyways, continuing on. Okay, so you guys want to be shirtless, and I am shirtless going to tell this story. What is the story called? How I milked her. And the fact that we're doing this right now is the most weirdest thing ever. But I'm gonna be honest here. You guys hit the like goal of a thousand likes, so I guess I'm filming this video shirtless. And you know what? Since you guys like goals so much, if you guys get over a thousand likes again in this video, I will have a girl sit behind me for one of the stories. She's just gonna sit there and look pretty. That way you don't have to always look at me. You can look at the girl that's gonna sit there like like imagine this boba fett was a woman okay it's a woman you guys saw nothing. We're going straight to the story now. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome to a brand new story. So today is a really weird one, especially since I'm shirtless, but at the same time, this story is one of the most weirdest stories ever. And before anyone says anything, I know what the title says, okay? I know what's called I Milked a Girl, but there's a lot more to it, okay? So I remember this started all off back in my grade 11 year. Now in grade 11, one thing I started realizing that was getting really popular throughout my school was teen pregnancies. Not that no girl wanted to to be pregnant is just for some reason girls have pregnancy scares and sometimes those pregnancy scares lead to actual pregnancy my opinion guys if you were planning to do the devil's tango use a rubber or use some sort of protection just please just do it anyways going on though i remember back when i was in high school there were a couple of mothers in my school that were actual students i know it sounds weird but it got to the point in my school where they actually ended up having a nursery now when they had this nursery i remember a lot of people usually stayed away from the mom that were at the school because obviously no one wants to date a mom that also has a kid with her that's like a two for one deal that you don't want like usually i like sales and stuff and you know good deals but two for one with a mother and a baby never gonna happen so knowing that obviously a lot of girls what they decided to do was basically lie about having a baby a lot of girls would say oh it's just like my baby niece that i have to take care of or usually i remember one girl in my class ended up saying that she adopted a child at such a young age don't get me wrong that sounds super nice of her to do, but I'm gonna be honest, when the baby looks like you, you definitely didn't adopt the child. Anyways, I remember one time I decided to leave math class early just so I can go to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom, I remember I sat down in a stall in the bathroom and I ended up basically watching a YouTube video. I usually would do this to get away from math class because I hate math. I seriously hate it so much. But I remember I was sitting down watching Jacksepticeye on my phone and basically watching it with my AirPods in. But then afterwards, I remember smelling something really weird in the bathroom and no it wasn't my dump that i took it was basically kids vaping in the bathroom i don't know why kids like to do this but if you are one of those kids that go into the bathroom and start vaping i just want to tell you that you are probably the biggest loser on the planet like i'm not joking do you realize how stupid you look when you hit a vape like oh i'm just gonna hit my vape here oh i hit my vape you do realize how dumb you look, right? Like, if you really want to smoke something, smoke cigarettes, okay? Or cigars. Look like a real man when you're smoking, okay? Why are you smoking these little candy things, bro? Like, it's so gross. And I'm just going to say this right now. If you vape, just know you are dumber than the average dumb kid. Anyways, going on though. Anyways, I remember these guys were in the bathroom vaping and they were basically having the most weirdest conversation to the point where I ended up taking all my AirPods. And that's when I heard one of the guys say, yo, bro, did you see that new girl's cherries, dude? Like, they were massive, bro. Like, holy cow. I just want to squeeze them and i thought that was the most weirdest thing ever said and even though i'm shirtless right now squeezing my own cherries i i will admit it is the weirdest thing ever said to the point where i remember i ended up basically standing up and getting out of the stall saying yo what are you guys talking about now some of these guys were shocked but at the same time it was bathroom talk so i guess it doesn't really matter because between the guys i mean we talk about all things when it comes to the devil's tango so i mean it was kind of the norm anyways they were telling me how there was a new girl in the school that had these massive cherries and obviously if you guys don't know me i'm a big cherries guy okay i love cherries cherries are the best thing ever actually did you know that if you prefer peaches over cherries chances are you're gay just saying just saying don't argue with statistics if you're wondering why just go watch me live on kick but going on though i remember from there basically i ended up asking them about this girl and i remember i made it my life's mission to basically go meet with this girl anyways i remember afterwards when the bell rang and class was over i ended up leaving the bathroom i started walking around basically trying to see if i could spot the girl with massive cherries at my school and i remember right when i turned a corner to the cafeteria that was at my school i am not joking when i say this it was the first thing i noticed standing there like this girl had bigger cherries than Mount Everest. Is that even possible? I, I don't know, but you guys know what I mean. Like they, they were, they were, 
they were there okay to the point where i remember i decided to basically do the thing and walk up to her but as i was walking up to her i realized that she went and sat down and ended up going on the phone with someone on facetime now at this point i wanted to know who she was facetiming just to make sure it wasn't like a boyfriend or anything so i ended up basically walking behind her and when i looked over i saw that she was talking to a baby and this old lady holding the baby now at first i thought this was maybe like her baby sister or baby brother i couldn't tell what gender it was but it was definitely a baby so at that point i thought oh okay she's probably single so i remember after she hung up the phone i decided to walk up behind her and say oh like you're in my seat she ended up turning around saying sorry like i'm new here i didn't know there were seats in the cafeteria oh no i'm just joking uh you can sit there i just thought you were cute and then from there i basically started to riz her up and we ended up basically talking when we were talking i remember i instantly got her snapchat and me and her we were having a really good conversation to the point where it was too good like she wasn't like most girls that would say snarky comments or say something really mean she had this like really caring nurture feeling about her kind of like a mother and i remember i was really attracted to her to the point where i'm not gonna lie i told her hey like i think you're one of the hottest girls at school i'm not gonna lie i pulled that line a couple times but at the same time the hottest girl at school usually changed and knowing she was a new girl it seemed like an appropriate time to say it but going on from there basically i remember i was basically flirting with this girl for over a week one week of me flirting with this girl i think that's the most time i actually spent flirting with a girl i'm gonna be honest here usually it takes me like one or two days before i get them to do the devil's tango with me but a week was insane but the thing is about her too though is that i actually did enjoy talking to her and stuff to the point where i remember one time i decided to basically ask her out and say hey like so like do you want to like maybe like i don't know like go see a movie i remember she agreed and then me and her we ended up actually going to the movies that day and we were watching a movie that just came out i don't remember what movie it was i think it was like one of like a marvel movie I i'm not really sure which one it was to be honest because it was so long ago but it was back when i was in grade 11 so it was something probably cool i, I have no idea to be honest because i wasn't focused on the movie because the whole time when we were watching the movie i remember i kept looking at her cherries like i'm not joking like imagine like two people sitting in a theater and then you just go like like, like I, I couldn't control myself to the point where I remember after the movie, I decided to basically walk with her and me and her, we got into a conversation that was, well, not the most mature of conversations, but basically me and her were talking about cherries. And when we were talking about cherries, I told her how my weakness was cherries and me and her, we ended up going into my car and we basically started making out from there. Me and her started making out. And I remember she ended up taking off her top to the point where I'm not going to lie to you. I went in for the squeeze and when I squeezed her cherries, it was the most weirdest thing ever because she ended up milking yeah now i'm gonna say this when milk is coming out of a woman you guys gotta understand chances are she had a baby or sorry not chances she had a baby so uh i started realizing that that baby that was on the call with her was her baby and when milk came out of her i remember i was freaking out to the point where i'm like whoa what in the world because it got all over my dash and um yeah it was a really awkward moment i basically told her how you know i think she's great and all and it's not her it's me when in reality it was definitely her and it was definitely because she had a baby yeah no i'm not trying to father another man's child like no just no yeah i definitely gotta say it was one of the most awkward experiences ever but i mean i dropped her home and you know she understood which was cool but yeah all i'm gonna say is is that if you ever go for a woman with massive cherries just make sure she's not a mom anyways guys that is basically it for today's story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want a girl watching me tell a story for in the next video sitting right there my opinion press that like button and like i always say fall for more embarrassing stories peace out guys